A frantic search with international help is taking place to find the helicopter carrying President Ibrahim Raisi. A signal has been reportedly detected by armed forces. Iranian media says the aircraft crashed in the northern part of the country, close to the border with Azerbaijan. Raisi was returning from inauguration ceremony of a new dam. According to authorities, the country's foreign minister and the governor of East Azerbaijan province were also aboard. Rescue crews are searching mountainous rural terrain. Bad weather conditions, including heavy fog, are hampering search efforts. In an emergency meeting after the crash, Iran's cabinet orders the country's health minister to help in search and rescue efforts. Esan Kevani brings us more. Today, my president, Ibrahim Raisi, inaugurated a small border dam uh, with uh, Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev in the afternoon. Uh, after the ceremony, President Raisi and his cabinet members and all the team were coming back to Tabriz with uh, three helicopters. And on the way, according to the vice president, uh, on the way, the, the two other helicopters uh, understood that uh, the helicopter, which was carrying the president and the um, foreign minister, was missing. Uh, in fact, the location of the incident is uh, mountainous and uh, very foggy. And today, according to the reports, the visibility was uh, a few meters. So uh, it's a very impossible location, very hard to achieve. And uh, uh, since the incident happened, uh, Iran's uh, Red Crescent organization has sent numerous rescue operation teams to locate the lo exact location of the incident and also uh, to find uh, uh, the people. Uh, today, a few minutes ago, the vice president said that uh, in two different occasions we have uh, we have been able to contact people uh, on on the helicopter. Uh, it means that uh, people have been uh, alive on the helicopter, and uh, he, ha he, he gave some hopes to people. But uh, honest, honestly speaking, the, the conditions are very tough. And uh, it's, it's very difficult uh, to be survived. 